Hello, in this video I wanted to show you guys a simple and effective and a safe way to remove ants from uh, wherever you need to remove them from. In my particular case, um, it is in our greenhouse. Uh, we have had them in our home, our attached greenhouse as well. We've gotten rid of them with this same simple method. We'll be using water sugar and the borax and before i go any further they have done research on it and what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to provide what's called a material safety data sheet for this borax i will put it on the description below a link to it for the pdf file for anybody who would like to read it I will also provide, interestingly enough, a PDF file version and a link to salt, regular old table salt. And you will find that the table salt is approximately very close to two times as hazardous as this borax. And that's the stuff you ingest, table salt. Um, but lots of people use borax um, I'm not saying to use it. I, I wouldn't say that. But my point is, is people do mix it in small amounts and they ingest it and they have amazing results for, for uh, arthritis. Um, and there, some of the research shows that um, very high percentages of <clears throat> people with uh, chronic arthritis are healed with, with it because the body needs boron, the element boron, which is in these minerals. Um, my point with it being that it is not, it is a safe product to use. And I'm going to provide in here, let me read the one po point in here under the uh, material safety data sheet. It says in here, and I will provide this. Let me see if I don't, if I can do it without shaking from this. It says, uh, let's see, borax has a low acute toxicity, small amounts, e.g. a teaspoonful, swallowed accidentally are not likely to cause effects. You know, swallowing amounts larger than that may cause gastrointestinal symptoms, you know, you know, maybe some kind of a, you know, well, we'll leave it at what it says. Very simple. So if if someone were to accidentally ingest a teaspoonful, not likely to have any effects. This stuff isn't good tasting. You're not going to eat it. It's just like salt. In fact, it's salt. Eh, I, I would say they're along the same line. Um, but anyway, let's get after it. I think that's enough. I will provide links to show. Um, actually, I'll even provide some of the links in there that show some of uh, you know the health benefits just to point out simple uh, basically that it is a very healthy way of doing it. Okay, let's get after it. How I mix mine is this. I take, what I'm going to show you right here is, let's take a look at this. I don't know if you can see this right here. I'm going to use a half teaspoonful because according to the material safety data sheet on borax, one teaspoonful accidentally eaten will not hurt you. Um, so again, like salt. Um, so let's take a look at this. I am going with a half of a teaspoonful because you really do not need much for your ants. Okay, so I'm going to try and hold this at the same time as doing it. We'll take about that much, roughly a half of a teaspoonful, and let's put it over into there. I'm going to use a bottle. The reason why I want to use a bottle and you can use a plastic container as the concern that someone might have that your dog or an animal might bite through and a plastic container or eat it if it's nice and good tasting. But when you mix it up, it still has its flavor is, you know, it's not that pleasant. But ants eat it just fine. I mix it about a five to one ratio or four to one. Some people will do a six to one, six meaning four sugars, five sugars. So let's do that. One, 
two, three, four. Let's go with five. Make that nice and sweet. The ants will love it. That's more than you're going to use. It really is. Then you add in the water. Okay, I'm going to show you what I use this nail for in just a minute. So then I just add in, you really don't need much water. If you want it more liquidy, just add a little bit more water. You know, maybe one of those is going to make it plenty good in there. There you go. So if you look at that, that's going to give you a fairly goopy consistency. Here we go right there. That is what, what, what we would use. You can kind of see it kind of is goopy a little bit, and that's great. Ants will run right up to it and eat it. Okay, so what I like to do, and the reason why you can do it this way is, and what I'm going to do is I'll show you a quick video clip of how well the ants like it in an in actual application at the end of this video, and you'll see it. I put it in a plastic container. I did that so that you could see the ants all huddled around, and you'll see the, the picture that I'm going to provide. And um, I did it for so that the video would show all the ants. Um, now, what I'm going to do right here is I would take this nail and I'd punch her some little holes. Book, 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 book. And you can put the holes in there so that the ants can get through, but a bee will not. Now, where I've got mine in the video that I'll be showing you, it's in a greenhouse. It's closed all up. It's cold outside. There's no bees around. I would definitely recommend putting it into something like this. You do not want the bees, which love honey, to be affected by it. Um, they, they, uh, you know, we already, our, our poor bees are getting hammered enough. So it, and this is a great way so that no pets or animals will eat it. The amount that you're mixing up is such a small amount anyway that you should be just perfectly fine unless you mix it in a high dosage amount, I mean a massive amount, and you just don't need that much. Make a small amount and keep it, and it's just great. Okay, so you pop holes in there, and that's basically all you do, and then what you want to do is just lead a little path of this to the ants. So you, I mean, you could spill a little bit out onto the you know ground, just a few drops outside of it, and that and then through the hole, and then they would just find their way in, and that's just a great way to do it. Um, it depends on the ants, on what they like. Some ants actually like a protein more than they like the sugar. The ants that I work with and have to deal with around here are a sugar-based ant. If it's a protein-based ant, you may want to... Uh, you might want to add in some kind of a protein powder into it, which would make it uh, appealing to those type of an ants. Um, and, and what people do use is gelatin. And actually on one of mine, um, one of the ants, they ate a little bit of it and then they stopped eating it. So I added a little bit more gelatin in there and just to make sure that if they were more gelatin oriented that they would still eat it. But that's pretty much it. Um, I will provide the material data sheets to show the safety factors of this. And again, this borax has been used for cleaning all around the household. I use it all over the place. It's the safe, good way. It's far more safe. I mean, if you look at the back of this, there's laundry, bathroom uses, kitchen uses. Kitchen, gee. Obviously, they know that it's very safe around the kitchen where you eat stuff. So if residual amounts go around, gee, it might actually even benefit you by getting a little bit of the elemental boron that... I will show the video after this. Hope you like this and hope it was beneficial. And I did spend extra time making sure that everybody knew that it was very safe so that there is no misconception. Take care and God bless. I wanted to show you here, I don't have this uh, borax and sugar mixture in the jar that I was showing you. I wanted to show you just, you know, this is the ants. They just love it. Now, there are some ants 
that will eat protein more than they do or you know be more attracted to the protein and they say to add in uh, some gelatin in there and that has the protein and they'll be attracted to it but this particular type of ant right here they just love this uh the sugar combination that i have and i just wanted to show it to you so that you can see that yeah they're all lined up and just chowing on it right now um okay and then i'll go back to my i guess that's pretty much it Good luck with what you've, uh, with your ant problem. And this is a great way to uh, take care of the ant problem. And it's also very healthy for um, everything around it. So, and it's a good mineral. So the ants, if they take it back and it gets in your soil, that's actually a good thing. Get a little bit of this, uh, these minerals in your soil, which obviously, um, as I previously talked about, um, has been proven beneficial in trace amounts inside of food sources. Um, the, the countries that have this a uh, little bit higher levels of it have less problems with arthritis and a number of different ailments. So anyway, that's my little bit. Take care and God bless.